Hey guys, welcome to our Chanel. In this horror story episode, we will read a story from a countess name, Bedrang. This story is best on his true story. Let's jump into the story. This site is preventing me from saying hello, but I will say hello friends. I hope you are doing well. It's presently the second wave of coronavirus in India and I pray that you and your family are safe and sound. The incident that I am going to narrate is not my own experience, but is narrated by my uncle, who has experienced it when he was preparing for his matriculation exams. I do not know which year it took place, but I think maybe it was 1975, I am not sure. This incident took place in Bihar, at a village in Madhubani district. My uncle was preparing for his exams, and so he was studying until late at night. At around 1 a.m. he felt the urge to pee, and he went outside the house to answer nature's call. There was a bathroom in their house, but I guess he wanted to feel the fresh air, and besides, it was just a village, and it was normal. While peeing he saw a lady in a white sari walking on the road. Thinking about what a lady is doing at this time all alone on the road he called her from behind. Now a very strange thing happened which shocked my uncle. That lady hearing the voice of my uncle, mysteriously turned into a dog, and started running really fast, and vanished from his sight. My uncle couldn't digest what he just saw, and drank a glass of cold water and went to sleep. The next morning my uncle narrated this spooky incident to one of his younger cousin brothers, to which he replied that he must not call or try to talk with such things again. If he ever witnesses such things then advised him to ignore it. This conversation was heard by one old man who is somehow related to my uncle. This old man owns a small shop, and he called my uncle inside the shop. He told my uncle stoically that what he has witnessed is true and not any hallucination, and that he also witnesses that lady every night when he sleeps in his shop. He also added that the lady in dog form always comes to the temple in the village and howls as long as the prayer continues and then goes back. Hearing this my uncle was shocked, excited, and wanted to witness it. One more time but he preferred using the bathroom at night. So this was my first story here. I hope you liked it and I will be bringing many more stories that were told by my grandparents. Thanks for watching. Keep support us with give us like, share, and subscribe. If you have a horror experience story, send us on our email. I put the email on the description section below. I will choose the most horrible experience for our next episode. See you guys and peace out.